What's going on, everybody? So we came out today to Del Val to try and catch some smallmouth, but that's not what happened. But we caught some fish. It was pretty cool. Stay tuned, and let's get fishing. Out here today. A little. This is the first spot we ever caught a smallmouth. And according to a buddy of ours, they're back up in here. So we're gonna see how we can, how we do. We're gonna make a bunch of casts today in this area. The expectation of just, just want to catch one, at the very least catch one. There's a fish out way out there. Yeah, <laughs> probably a striper or a carp. Might have got in here just a little late, we'll see. Right now, almost 9 a.m. Opened up about three hours ago. Sun went down about two hours ago, or came up about two hours ago. Fish may have gone a little deeper. Let's see where other people have stepped before. Just don't really want to step on a snake. That's the primary concern here. No snakes, please. Had a fish follow it. Might have been a tiny trout though, to be honest. Judging on how big that fish looked. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh, uh, I saw I saw it jump though. <laughs> it was probably that DFG that followed me back. Yeah, dude was out here catching smallmouth on wacky rig senkos, and I have those. I just figured if they are in the area, see if there isn't a moving bite first. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Or maybe it's a time of day thing too, I don't know. There's only one way to find out, and that's to fish. And keep on fishing. Be pretty cool if the first fish that we caught on the mini chatterbait was a smallmouth. That would be pretty cool. You need a soft plastic craw? Yeah. I got you. There you go. Thank you, mm -hmm. appreciate it. All right, y'all, we got Mega Bass Sleeper Craw back once again, making an appearance. As if we have to slow down, might as well slow down with something that I know will potentially get a good bite. Got one. Yeah, it's a smallie. Oh wait, no, maybe it's a largie. No, it's a largie. A little uh, pound and a half largie. Swallowed that mega bass sleeper craw. Little chunky boy. Get him back in the water. Aggressive little guy. Definitely spawn. Look at that belly. There it goes. All right. I'm going to put a new battery in the GoPro before it dies mid freaking catch. All right, y'all. We are back. To be fair, got pretty lucky that we got that uh, catch on camera. It's literally at 2% battery. Again, on the Mega Bass Sleeper Craw. It's a good bait when they're in pre-spawn to spawn. Really gets them going. But that was a largey. And we are looking for smallies today. Where are they at? Where are they at?
Another largey. Little one pound largey. Back you go, Jimmy. Wrong way, there you go. Very good, very nice. Looking for the bigger ones. Most of these fish are on bed, so you know, it's sort of a, can't really not fish slow. Sort of what I'm trying to say. So that's what we're doing. Maybe these clouds, cause it was sunny and now it's getting cloudy and it's supposed to rain, I think later. So moving in low pressure system, hopefully doesn't turn them off. Hopefully it just uh, turns them on and maybe we can get a moving bite later in the afternoon, but we'll see. Until then, we keep fishing slow. You know, I haven't smoked a cigarette since last May and I haven't used any nicotine products since November. But man, <laughs> when I'm fishing a jig or a T-rig or a Ned rig or anything like that, I just, until you catch the fish, smoking a cigarette was just such a nice thing to do. I mean, it's not nice, it's horrible for you, but it was such an easy way to kill time when there was nothing going on. Oh, there's a dead lightning trout right here. But how did that happen? Someone just kill it and leave it or what? Or did it die of natural causes? Looks like it. Someone must have caught it and then it must have broken off of their frickin' or that someone must have broken a lure off in its stomach. Unfortunate. Alrighty. Let's see what fishing over here is like. I bet it's awesome. It's probably where all the fish actually are. biggest one today. Look at you, chubster. Chubby chubster eating the sleeper craw. It's got the red eyes also. Pretty cool guy, aren't you? Pretty nifty. Let's get that sleeper craw out of your mouth. You know what? Just for the lulls give you away also see what happens I'm gonna guess 1.8 1.76 yep right around there thanks bud here are uh, <laughs> big of the day what I feel like we can do a little better than that There he goes, back out into nature. Or as we would call it, nature. Cause it's neat. Nature is neat, nature. It's also a funny YouTube video that you should look up. Does that give us three bass for three hours today? Yes, it does. <laughs> so, Makes sense why the bass are over here. So you got one creek channel and two creek channel both leading into this little area. So there's usually going to be a good source of food on these flats. And crawdads come out of creeks, bait fish get pushed up into creeks. So if bait fish aren't being pushed, there's still crawdads in the area. So that's why I think the mega bass sleeper craw is doing well. Plus there's probably some beds over here there's like not really much flowing water, so there's no current for them to worry about. And a lot of structure with all this wood that's been washed up. So just a bassy area with a crawdad. Crawdads always catch them. So let's keep fishing. Come on. Let's flip that over. There we go. Good rod, strong line, good lure. <laughs> it 
able to just flip over that entire freaking piece of structure. Ah, oh, dang it. Something tried to eat it. Must have been small though. Didn't get it in the mouth. See if we can do it again. Grabbed it and spit it. It's probably, it's definitely a bed. Probably a little buck mail on a bed. Pretty good one. <laughs> Probably close to three. Alrighty. Knew we felt a bite. Probably guarding its bed. Right there. Alright y'all. Little, not so little bass. We knew that they were in on beds in these coves. So we're gonna get a little weight on him. Two point eight. I'll take the two point eight weight. Nice fish. Let's get him back. It's probably on a bed, so get him back to his bed. Yes, sir. Wrong way, buddy. Can you help me with that? There you go. <laughs> it's right off of that grass point right there, too. Just where we thought it would be. So the Mega Bass Sleeper Craw today has caught four fish, and it's still holding up pretty well. When we, uh... Last year when we were fishing the Mega Bass Sleeper Craw, we brought it to a spot with Spotted Bass and the Spotted Bass just destroyed it right away. <laughs> spotted Bass just ripped its claws off. But for some, whatever reason, the largemouth, they just, they're not as aggressive on the initial strike. And I think if you're targeting largemouth, it's a durable lure. If you're targeting spots or striper or maybe smallmouth, I don't know. We'll have to see if we catch a smallmouth, how it stands up to them it might be a little more difficult to use, but we'll see. We shall see. Hoping for a smallmouth today. They're out here somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Sheesh, calm down, Jimmy. Jim Bob Jones, Jim Bob the Bass, thanks for playing. Back you go. All right, y'all, we zoomed on over to the other side of the lake. Thought I felt something. Little Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy? Is that a... No, I think that's that's still a largey. Just got the red eyes, which is pretty cool. And really colorful, really colorful back right there, which is pretty neat. Yes, sir, just... A colorful Jimmy. Don't think he's a smallmouth. Nope. Still haven't got our smallmouth today. Six fish, no smallmouth.
All right, y'all, that's going to conclude the day we caught six bass all in the Mega Bass Sleeper Crawl. What a cool lure. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Peace. Peace. Peace.